I mean, not mad about that. Yo, what up? It's One Piece card game, shrimp em time, pillars of strength. This is set three of the One Piece card game. I love this card game. I don't know if y'all have known it, but I've been really deep in here the whole time. I've been very excited about it. I was even opening other One Piece cards before, just to imagine like, what are these cards gonna look like? And Bandai has been sending it on these. I feel like they have seriously been absolutely smashing it. Bless them. The art is so good. The card game is so fun. Like, I wish it were a little bit more accessible to get into like tournaments and regionals and stuff. I feel like it's still kind of hard to like get into playing it competitively. But I think as the game continues to grow, they'll continue expanding that realm of it. Oh, and I need a cracker alternate art. If I can pull a cracker alternate art, I'll be doing my deck profile on Katakuri, but I'm not doing my deck profile until that deck is blinged out. I just summoned the Katakuri alternate art leader, so you know I would just use my leader. Speaking of which, Kaizoku Cards, let's have our little uh, plug from our, a message from our sponsor, Kaizoku Cards. I don't know if you've heard of Kaizoku Cards, but they make really cool, shiny cards. Here's one. Uh, this is Gear 5 Luffy. I don't know if this is even available yet, but Kaizoku Cards is me. I make all the cards and uh, they go in leader cases like this so you can play them in the game. You know, they have the text printed on the case. Some of them have the text printed directly onto the card also, and now I'm doing that as well. But check them out, Kaizoku cards. I will use that leader in my deck profile, but now I have the alternate art leader that I can stick on the other side so I can really bling it out, because I like blinging decks out. I don't know if you knew this about me, but I like to have an extremely, superbly shiny deck. I want my deck to be full shiny all the way, as shiny as it gets. But I gotta say, the Marco alternate art, it is really, really shiny, but I love the art on the regular SR so much. There's a Sanji Dome. You know, the, the Marco, the, the alternate art, art, I feel like isn't quite as snap as the SR, but that's cool because then like, the more accessible version, I guess, is, is easier to get. How about a, uh, I, I guess, okay, so what I'm looking for now, I need one more cracker. I need one more alternate art cracker, and I need one more. I need one Usopp, God Usopp manga. I mean, Soga King, I'm so sorry. Soga King is not Usopp. I don't mean to mix that up for all of you viewers out there. I don't want to mess that up for you. But if I could get a manga art, Soga King would be pretty cool. I haven't pulled a manga art in a long time. I've opened a lot of packs and haven't seen a manga art. Shrip them to a lot of packs. I only got one, I got one manga art ace from set two. That was cool to open, but I lost the video with my hands. I only have my face reaction. I made a gimped video to show my excitement of it, but I was, I was pretty psyched. I was pretty psyched when I pulled that card. Um, but yeah, I still haven't pulled the manga art from the set. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's in this case because I have managed to pull one manga art from each set so far. And I'd like to keep that trend going. Um, but it's cool that this manga art actually, like, relatively speaking, is a lot less expensive than the others. But I think we're going to see an alternate art leader in here, possibly. I think there's a good chance there's going to be an alt art leader in here. But, as I said, cracker. We need that alt art cracker, and then I can make my deck profile. So let's try and summon him. All right, cracker. I think I slapped Katakuri into a pack, so crack, crack. Does that sound like a crack? Double, double tap crack? Is that how you get cracker? I mean... Not mad about that. Haunting, absolutely haunting. The cursed Big Mom arrives. That card is insane. That card's absolutely insane. I, I will say it's cool that you can at least create a situation where a, kind of, a yellow player can't play that card. But if that thing comes down and it sticks, man, that is like, that's not a fun day. That's not a fun day to be sitting across from, especially if there's another one behind it. It's like, oh man. Give us a break, you know? When is this, when are we gonna get a break from this thing? There could be one more alternate art in here. Is it possible? Yeah, 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 that is a dope yellow box. Whoa, for real? Really? Like that, just like that? I'm not mad at all about that. I'm very happy about that. Two Katakuris and a Big Mom? Heck yeah, gamers. That's what I'm talking about. That's called value, established value. Anyway, I guess we're gonna have to uh, get our cracker in another box, but hopefully we'll find them and we can do the deck profile then. I'm a dentist, I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. 
a dental tooth tip to you would be if you're having cold sensitivity that lingers, get your tooth checked out. It, may, it might need a root canal or it might just need a bite adjustment. Whatever it is, something's going on with it if there's cold sensitivity that lingers. If there's pain that's waking you up at night or you're sensitive to hot, you're probably gonna need a treatment on that tooth for sure. So go to your dentist, get your teeth healthy, and I'll see y'all in the next one.